sun for Friday. Our six day outlook coming up at about 12 minutes. But for now, that's your news and weather together. Vince, thank you. Yesterday's lockdown at two Mayville schools in Dodge County. It's the second lockdown in recent weeks that's been caused by one of those airsoft guns being mistaken for the real thing. Today, Justin Williams spoke with an airsoft competitor and police, both of whom say such a mistake is understandable. April 16th, near Waukesha's Carroll University. Police respond to reports of a man walking with a gun. The situation leads to a lockdown on campus and concerns throughout the area. May 22nd in Mayville, police respond to reports of two men near the trunk of a vehicle with a gun. Mayville High School and Middle School go on lockdown. In both cases, law enforcement was able to eventually determine the weapons involved were not firearms, but airsoft guns. First thing that comes to my mind is why and you know who taught you this. Andre Tillman is a member of what he says is a growing airsoft community. Described as a recreational activity, airsoft uses replicated, not real, guns, which fire plastic BBs. Tillman is concerned about how these incidents may affect the sport's rapid recent growth in southeastern Wisconsin. The more negative light that, that gets brought to the sport, the slower that you know will grow or it may stop the growth completely. Tillman says to cut down on confusion, gun cases, bright colored components, and barrel socks are part of the appropriate protocol. Meanwhile, the protocol is to treat it as it is a real gun until it is determined otherwise. The police protocol Brian Doro describes involves precisely the response these two incidents received. They all look alike. How do you decipher which one is the airsoft gun and which one is actually the real gun? It's very tough. The associate dean of criminal justice at Waukesha County Technical College and a former police officer suggests airsoft competitors keep others informed about airsoft events. Let your neighbors know, let your parents know, you know, perhaps let the police department know if you're going to be outside. As Brian indicated, it can be very difficult, even up close, to tell which guns are real and which guns are airsoft. But, as he suggests, if you put it in a case, you eliminate the questions, the concerns, and potentially a 911 call. In Pewaukee, I'm Justin Williams, Fox 6 News. After losing two out of three to the Dodgers who are struggling themselves, the Brewers continue to search for answers. Nothing's gone right in the month of May. Nothing